Me and Sam are back at it again, drafting cards and dueling hard, but this time it's Generation Next. Each week we'll open four of each core GX pack and add a single card from each to our collections, then build decks and throw down. The loser gets to ban one card, but the winner takes one step closer to 10 wins and becoming GX Champion. Join us as we try to build the three or four good decks available in this series, Yu-Gi-Oh! Generation Draft GX. Um, yeah, I mean, if you, with a two-card combo, can deal with my board, go for it. I think I could deal with your board with a two-card combo. Yeah, is it industrial strength? It might be industrial strength. I banish two battery men. Yeah. And summon industrial strength. I think it's got to be this and this. I am so getting punished for not playing the card in my hand here. So the card in my hand that I didn't use, because mm -hmm. I thought, ah, it's it's too much, it's overkill, was my second battle manica that I was going to put on Spartacus. <sighs> oh. Welcome back to another episode of Generation Draft GX. Last week, we did manage to take down Sam using our Battery Man strategy in a quite convincing 2-0. Unfortunately, we did lose our Forced back, and we're only getting five of our side set for this week, which is Jaden Yuki 2. There's not a ton in here. I think Card Trader is... Not Card Trader, Card Trooper is the chase card. We'll have to see if we can get it. Uh, I don't really think we're looking for Blade Edge, so I think I'll take E-Emergency Call here. Next pack. Uh, oh, Oversoul is just generically a good card, so we'll take that. Pack number three. Uh, super Rare Edge Hammer. I believe this card requires us to have Blade Edge. Uh, we're probably not using this realistically. Uh, the rest of this is also not very good. We don't really want Cyclone Boomerang here, but it's, we're, we're taking Neo Space. We're, we're playing Neo, so maybe we want to use this to boost its attack to 3,000. Pack number four. Another O over Soul. Sure, we'll take that. And then pack number five. Uh, another Neo for an R Righteous Justice. R Righteous Justice ain't bad. I think we'll, we already have two Neos. Do we need a third Neos? Yeah, sure, we'll take that. All right, just both these cards are common in the main set, so we'll probably get them there anyway. We didn't pull anything super spectacular, but the commons in the set aren't bad, as you can see. So let's see what we can get from the main sets. So let's see what we can get from our main sets. Hopefully something good. Pack number one. Hmm. We already have three Batman Double A's now. We really don't need Medusa Worm. I don't really want Boss Guardian. I think it might actually just be Clayman. Pack number four. DD Survivor Mega Rock Dragon. I do really like Mega Rock Dragon, but I don't think it's super good. I think we have to take the Survivor here. Having access to two of this card now means that if we get any like big good tribute monsters, we can just kind of go all in on that kind of strategy. All right, Cybernetic Revolution. Oh, hmm. Oh, this is hard. This is a really hard decision. So Cyber Dragon's here. Cyber Dragon will also be available in Duelist Pack Zane, which is not far away. Mm, I, th I think we have to take the Cyber Dragon. We want Miracle Fusion as well, but Miracle Fusion is easier to pull. I believe it's in other side sets as well. Cyber Dragon is in our next side set, which is Duelist Pack Zane, but uh, we need it. We need it. We need it. If we don't pull a play set from Duelist Pack Zane, then that'll suck anyway, so we need it now. Pack number two. Power Bond. Okay, back to back, straight after the Cyber Dragon. Power Bond. I don't think we need anything else in here. Like, Poison Draw Frog is okay, Bubble Man is fine, but we're going to take the ultimate rare Power Bond, you know? Maybe that comes in useful. All right, Shadow of Infinity. Let's see what we can find in here. Oh, another Karma Cut is very good. We're definitely taking that. Having two Karma Cut is huge. Last pack of the set, another Hamon. Ah. Uh... I mean, the rest of this pack is pretty terrible, right? I think we'll just take Hamon. I don't know if we'll ever use it, but now we have a Hamon. All right, Enemy of Justice. Let's see what we can find in here. Ooh, looking pretty good. All right, how many O Oversouls are we on now? We have one from the main set and two. So we have, we already have a play set this. We don't need to worry about this anymore. Miraculous Descent is pretty good. We already have one Descent. It is the rare, though. All right, we'll take the Descent. It's the rare. Battleful Armor should come up again. Last pack of this Miraculous Descent. The third. All right, sure, we'll take it. We have a place at a Miraculous Descent now. We'll see if that ever comes up. All right, Power of the Duelist. Let's see what's in here. Ameritech Over Dragon. That is very funny. I think we'll take it. We might actually be able to do something with this this week. We'll have to see what we can do with that. That could be very funny. Pack number two. 
There is <laughs> a Dark Neos, which we are almost certainly not going to use. We already have two alien mothers. I guess we're just taking a third alien mother? Yeah, let's get the aliens going. Last pack of the set, Spiral Serpent number two. I guess we will take this, just because we want Sam to start hitting our normal monster stuff, I guess. So maybe that will come up. Right, Tactical Evolution. Let's see if we can pull ourselves a Rainbow Dragon, I guess. Uh, Fifth Hope and Snake Deity's Command. Probably one of these two is going to be the pick. Target five elemental hero cards in your graveyard, shuffle them into the deck, and then draw two cards. That's actually pretty good. What about Snake Deity? Uh, Antip is showing your opponent one Venom monster from your hand, negate the activation, and affect an spell card. It has to be specifically a Venom monster. I'm not really feeling the Venom stuff. I think we're going to take Fifth Hope. We'll have to see if this actually comes up. It might. Pack number two. Crystal Seer is a very good card. Um, Ocean Keeper, this card did something, right? <sighs> Piercing and it doesn't. Oh, no, we don't care about it. Right, I guess it's Crystal Seer. Pack number two. Battle Manica of our own. There's also a Bestiari. We already have one Battle Manica. We already have two Bestiari. I guess we'll take another Battle Manica since it's the rare. Pack number three, Cell Explosion Virus. This is a really, really good card, so we definitely want this. This card is just a fantastic, it's like a mirror force for aliens. So really, really good. Pack number four, Giga Plant is really good. Beginning of the end, does this card do anything? Seven more diamonds in your graveyard, banish five months from your graveyard, draw three cards. Again, really good. I think Giga Plant, though, is too good to pass up. I think we need the Giga Plant. That's just such a good card, just generically. All right, Light of Destruction. We're still looking for, I guess, more Battery Man stuff, and we're looking for the Light Swan stuff. So let's see what we can find. Hopefully, some really good cards. Pack number one, Hero Blast is really good. Also, we, we would kind of like our Light Swan Dragon, but I think we're going to take the Hero Blast for now. Pack number two, Honest Ghost Rare. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Okay, we're taking Honest. We're taking Honest. That is... That has got to be a ban from Sam. That is so good. All right, next up. Lumina. Lumina good. Uh, oh, we also really want Battery Man Charger, but we can't pass up Lumina. If we're going to build this Light Swan deck, we've got to take all the Light Swans we can get, because a lot of them are high rarity. Last pack of the opening. Lila! Oh my god. Okay. Well, I mean, we're taking that. We're taking Lila, right? That's such a good card. So good. This has been such a good opening. There we have it. What a fantastic opening today. I cannot believe how lucky we are. Only ever when we're playing against Sam, apparently. But we have DD Survivor, just a fantastic generic card. We have Cyber Dragon, which again, we're opening Duelist Pack Zane next week. And if we win this week, then we'll only be getting five of that. So taking this now seems really, really good. We've got Power Bond, which again, there's not a ton we can do with this right now, but it might be really good at some point. We've got two Battery Man Seas just because they're named. We've got the Karma Cut, which is really, really bonkers. We've got the Hammer, which is just kind of funny. We're starting to collect kind of our Counter Fairy stuff. We then got the Chimera Tech Over Dragon, which is really, really cool. I don't know if we had to do anything with it this week. I don't think we have access to Overload Fusion yet, but maybe next week we'll have to see how we go. We've also got some other just good kind of generic cards. We've got another Spiral Serpent, which could be good for this week. We've got some Hero Support and Fifth Hope. We've got the Ultra Rare Crystal Seer, which can be really good. The Honest is so big. That is so big. Honest then Lumina and then Lila in the close. It's so clutch. That's just such a good part of the Light Swan deck that we are now building. And it's, it's looking good. It's looking good. Oh, let's find a deck build and see what we can come up with. So this is the deck we're bringing to today's game. So we have Jeweler's Pack Zane coming up. And when that comes out, we should both have easy access to Chimera Deck Overdragon, Future Fusion, Overload Fusion, and Cyber Dragon. But this week, we did actually manage to pull the Cyber Dragon, the Power Bond, and the Chimera Tech Over Dragon. So I thought it would be fun if we could try and cheat out a Power Bond boosted Chimera Tech Over Dragon and kind of catch Sam unawares before it becomes kind of commonplace. So to facilitate that, we're playing of just a bunch of machines, just all the machines we have, basically. We have Super Polymerization, which if Sam's on any machines himself, we can fuse away his machines into our Cyber Dragon and get the Chimera Tech Over Dragon which would be hilarious. And then we're kind of facilitating that just in encompassing it within our Battery Man package because again, industrial strength is really good and we can now use Battery Man C since if all of these are in attack mode, we can boost the attack of each of our machine monsters. We also have our other new staples like Lila, which is just gonna be really good. We still have the Honest. And just generally, this is an okay 
kind of package, I think. In the side deck, we've got DD Survivor. Again, in case Sam decides to bring his Banishing Floodgates, we can bring in our DD Survivors and kind of have them do a thing. If he's on machines himself, we've got the system down. If he's on any kind of stall, I'm not really sure what kind of stall he could be on, but if he is, I guess we'll just bring in the D spells and the roof traps. And basically, we just try to have answers for as much as we can. So we're feeling pretty good against this. I think if we can manage to activate our power bond and get out a Chimera Tech Over Dragon, it will be really funny. And I don't think Sam will have a good out for it. So I think we might just win off that. But let's fire on in and see what Sam's got for us. If I recall correctly, I won last week. So yes. currently 2-1. So if we're going to pass back and forth wins and losses this is your time to win yeah um still still reeling from a i don't want to say a misplay from game two last week but i was too scared of your one card plus one draw that i didn't go all <laughs> out and paid the price to industrial strength but that's the power of that card yeah industrial strength is you know he's a a low rarity decent boss monster especially for like for yeah. what he is so very, very he's, good. He's like a... a oh, I want to say he's a better Chaos Sorcerer that's just harder to facilitate. Yeah, uh, I think that makes sense. Obviously, Chaos Sorcerer can banish, and he's easy to get out because he needs any light and dark, which usually should be easier than specifically battery men named guys. But yeah, yeah it's a little bit swings around about, right? But for this week, how were your pulls? Uh... I don't remember pulling, again, I don't remember pulling high rarity stuff, mm. but I feel like my pulls have kind of, they're starting to round out, I'm getting a lot of doubles now, a mm. couple of play sets, you know, things are starting to come together, you know? Mm. Well, over in Camp Tomato, we got, ah, it's a weird one, I feel like this week, high rarity wise, I got quite a lot. And some of those high rarity cards are really, really powerful. Um, okay. But there are caveats to that, right? Like, that will be really good way later on. Or that will be yeah. really good. But that's in a side set as like a common. So does it really mean anything? You know, sort of thing. Um, yeah, I so... mean, I I'm waiting for the day that I get Geyserus, Heraclinos, you know. <laughs> and then just say, well, here we go. That'll be the day when Bestiary gets banned. <laughs> yeah, yeah, tell me about it. Tell me about it. All right, shall we hop in and see what we're both bringing? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Ah, the double paper strip. Oh, this is a hand. I think I'm going to set. Am I playing another card? I don't think this hand needs to. I think we're just going to end on this. Okay. Set monster tends to be pretty good for me. Also, I want to get this guy back in the deck. Okay. Oh. Adhesive explosion. That's... Oh, can I? This it was, definitely uh... attack. So why did I not get the option? I guess it's at the start of the damage step. There's probably some weird little ruling with this. Yeah. That's... Yeah, that's interesting. Okay. We'll set two. Okay. Well, when's that going? Uh, during your approach next time. So how do I want to approach this? Two back row. That thing going as is. If I commit something to board to try and run over it, there's a chance one of your back row stops it. This might be the wrong call, but I think I'm just going to pass. I think I'm quite happy to just let this thing blow up. Okay. I don't I don't think that's terrible. But it, so you do get tempo, and if you have a gladiator beast, you get a free tag. But I don't have anything for you to gain advantage off of from the tag. Yeah. So and uh, if I had any other glad beast to go into Darius, <laughs> <laughs> I'd get my... Uh... My best Yari back on the board, at least. Yeah, and then you contact views into Geyserus and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I assume this is just Heraclinos coming out. Poplimus even, sorry. Heraclinos is fusion. Yeah, yeah, I think... Yeah, we're good there. 
Oh, that is a card. Oh. Let's see what you got. Alright. Plenty of cards. This is a bit funky. Okay. I like that. But I'm gonna normal summon Battery Man Double A. Okay. And set. Am I set two? Is the question. I think we're gonna set one. Pass. Because you can't out this board currently. <laughs> we will normal summon Snipe Hunter. Okay. We'll discard Neos. Uh, do I care? No, that's fine. Go for it. You got my rising energy. I wasn't going to uh, commit two cards to a yeah to that. To because uh, I mean I could end turn and then you're down value, but then I guess you keep your battery man. But I think I would just snipe hunter it because that's just so <laughs> much value at that point. Yeah. Um, well, there's obviously a chance. Obviously, you missed as well, and then it's like, well, then you have to think about if you're going like, to absolutely, absolutely. So we'll do this. Yep. So before damage count, I think we're going to honest you. Right. <laughs> uh... <laughs> yeah, I told you I got a couple of good. Okay. Powerful cards. Ah, oh, don't get rid I, of my I've guy. I've got to do this. I, I don't have a choice here. Now just leave Hop of Us in attack mode. I don't. I don't want to get rid of these cards, to be honest. I'm going to get rid of a battle maker. I'm happy that's gone. Yeah, I'm not. You also had the benefit of banishing Battery Man, so if I do find industrial strength, yes. I can't use it. Alright, so we're going to get out Spartacus. Let's me search out the other battle manica, which is I still I don't want to lose any battle manica because mm. they're so high value. See, last time I didn't equip the battle manica and I got punished. Yep. But the honest is gone. No, you know. Yeah, the first honest is gone. Yeah, yeah, the first honest is gone. I'll be honest. Oh. I um. I, I didn't even process honest was a thing. <laughs> all right, all right. Are you ready for... All right, you're, this is almost certainly not going to work because of your back row, but I can't not try this. Are you ready? Okay. So this is a super air I pulled this week, but... Cyber Dragon? Yeah. Again, it's in a side set, so it's not super crazy good. Yeah. And then I'm going to summon Battery Man C. Go to battle, and then we're going to see if Cyber Dragon can't just get rid of Spartacus. Oh, he does! It can. It can. Uh, I don't think there's a point in attacking for zero, so I'm just going to go to main phase two. We'll set a back row. Okay. We will... Snipe Hunter. That is fine. Now, how lucky are we feeling? Now, I, I really don't like doing this, but... My super poly. Okay. Well, here's O Oversoul. Okay. Well, this does clear my board. I don't like... like I've committed to, like, ah, I'm just going to have to lose both battle manicas. You're on two cards. You can't uh, industrial strength me. <laughs> um, I will pass the turn. Yeah? Yep. I mean, I... I drew what I drew, so... Yeah, I'll take that one. Yeah, where well, you go. And we'll take that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> gotta try and keep you on your toes, man. I gotta try and keep you on your toes. Alright, we'll go, we'll go game two. I'll, uh, I'll have a better game game two. Alright, we'll go we'll, second. We want, the, we want the card. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to commit too much, so... This is where everything gets a little bit tricky though, because if that's just a 2100 baht Hoplomus, then I can't do anything. So I think we're gonna we're gonna roll the dice. I think I'm gonna summon okay. Blue Thunder T45. Oh, so yeah, I was playing this card. You attack week this. one, but I didn't have honest. So now you can just find your Hoplomus if you wanted. Yeah. 
Which I think is what I'm gonna do. I think it's the safe option. Wow. Oh. Well, I can't, uh... uh <laughs> do I... Do I honest this? I don't know. <laughs> we'll just go... We'll go maybe two. Yeah, yeah. We'll set a couple back row. And pass on that. Okay. Normal summon Harpy Queen. Mmm, okay. Attempt to attack the token. That is fine. Okay. We are okay with losing the token here. You could have shield speared for essentially a one for one. Uh, rising energy would have been a minus one. So mm. I was interested to see if you would do anything. It's basically I've... between two cards. Yeah. The problem two is... back row terrify me. <laughs> I think I'm going to set and pass. I think that's the play here. Okay. Oh, that's... That's certainly a draw. I will normal summon bestiari. That's fine. Greed. Greed, my brother. Greed. <laughs> right. Okay, so... We're gonna hop Lumus into the face down. Yep. I will grab... Batraman double A here. Then... I'm going to fire off Chthonian Blast. See, I didn't know if you could Chthonian Blast set monsters. Because it specifically says when a face-up control. Yeah, it's just because a card can be destroyed while face-down, right? Using something like um, Dark Hole or Shield Crush. Because the monster yeah, still gets I mean, face-up when it dies. Yeah, see, I could never remember if a monster actually does get flipped face-up. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old school. Uh, right. Let's see what you've got for this. No, that was fine. Well, I'm going to do it. Let's see what you got. Yeah, that's fine. He's got a bloody battery madness. <laughs> He's got an industrial <laughs> strength coming well, out. Well, you like... can't summon out a bestiary, which was the, uh, the key thing I wanted to avoid there. Yeah, it's, it's one of those ones where you never really want to draw bestiary. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and then we will set two. Two back. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I was I was waiting for the second. I th this is a bit weird, but I think I have to summon this, and I don't think I can afford to attack. So I'm going to set two more back row and pass on it. I am going to get incredibly... Oh. this. Yeah, that is extremely um, greedy. I'm going to lose a Darius. See, I am a little bit terrified of a Radiant Mirror Force. Mm -hmm. And I can't remember, because Hoplomus is a cost put back into the deck. So I can't remember if it will still be negated or... If you know uh, what I mean. I, I'm pretty sure they don't get to tag out, but I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a weird one. So we're just... Yeah, okay, we dealt with Small, which was going to be an issue. We will tag out. We will go into the bestiary. Yep. Hmm, that's an annoying one to hit, but only if I was to draw another double A. Otherwise, this doesn't really matter. We'll set another one. Hmm, we are really not finding the cards we want. I, I could play this, but uh, it's tricky. Especially since I know what you've got in your back row. I think I've lost either way. So I'm, I'm going to drop the Lila. There's another one I'll pick up to this Okay. And pass on it. Oh, okay. Well, if, if you've got something, you've I feel like you have to use it at this stage. So we'll try and bait out whatever it is. Well, well rising energy. Okay, rising energy. Oh, main phase two. <laughs> <laughs> Thing. Do this. Don't want to set it to defend. 
case you, you know, second grand mole attacks in, doesn't have right. to. Summon Drawroid. Um, okay. We had a battle. We will. Here it comes. Yeah. yeah. We, see, this, this is the I... thing. I knew you've had this the whole time, so I was like, nothing I could do about this. I, I drew it last turn. <laughs> I expected one of your other two back rows to be it, so you'd already have it. Yeah. That is a monster. Is lethal. Yep, you got it. Oh. oh. Yeah, I tried something a little bit different because I pulled the Cyber Dragon Power Bond Chimera Tech, and I was like, I want to oh. try this out before before we get it from Daughter's Pack Zane, because then yeah, it's just like... Yeah, that, because that's what I'm waiting for. I, I've actually got a Power Bond. I have picked one up. Mm. But I've got nothing else. Well, I was hoping you'd be on at least any machines, so I could like cheesy kind of super poly your board into a Chimera tech, but unfortunately right, you just I see weren't on saying. it. So my my ban, by the way, uh, unless you have Icarus attack, yeah, Ic I Icarus assume. attack is the ban. Um, it's something I wanted to ban last time, but I felt like I couldn't. Um, yeah. And I think Icarus attack is, it's too good, right? It's just, it's easy removal it's really dumb removal as well because there are just good winged beasts you can just kind of play yeah it's um, the whole reason i'm i'm, I'm on harpy queen because it's mm. a 1900 beta that can be icarus attack yeah well now you you don't have icarus attack so yeah <laughs> <laughs> well there's, there's my list but yeah um okay so what, what were you on you what's new here uh nothing's like standing out second karma cut i think that's new Second Karma Cut, after seeing you play it, I thought, you know what, these adhesive explosives are worthy of being played. Hmm. Yeah, they're, um, they're decent. Yeah, I they're, got they're... the second best Diari. Hmm. Okay, so, yeah, I think nothing, there's nothing in here crazy, crazy good. So, yeah, I think it's, it's Icarus Attack is the ban, right? That's, that's just gone. Yeah, I, I, after thinking about it last week as well, I was like, I think... Like, just because I'm playing it and you're not as well, it's such a huge card. Well, I saw you, so I, di I didn't see it week one. And then week one, you brought it, and I was like, this card is going to, like, in the same way Just a Break was this, like, ridiculous card, I was like, this yes. card is going to plague this series as long as it goes, as long as it sticks around. So I could go for it myself, which I think I had a chance to get it, like, week two and three. Um, yeah. But I was like, I know I'm going to ban this, so I don't want to pick it up. So, okay. ba basically, we, we still kept all the Battery Man stuff in. Um, unfortunately, we didn't see a lot of it in that first game, by the way. I had Industrial Strength in hand, but because you had banished Double A, I couldn't yeah. summon it. Um, which I think if I had summoned it, maybe that game goes different. But, uh, yeah, as, as you can see, we kind of put all of our machines that we had in, which includes just some of the stuff we got from Duelist Pack, Chaz. <laughs> um, and we got the Battery Man C because it's like, one, it's another Battery Man name, which means, you know, we can use it for stre uh, industrial strength, we can use it for charger, it works in synergy with all the machines. We have the two copies of Super Poly, which again, I was like, well, if you do have any machines, like anything at all, this card yeah. could like hard punish. But then when I saw it, I, you didn't play any, so I sided them out. But um, yeah, it's nice to see a bit Sorry. of diversity, right? We don't want to be on the same deck every week. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, GG, buddy. GG, I'm glad that we got a lot more back and forth. It's good, it's good. <laughs>